Hey loves, this is Kiki Mel, and today I'll be getting into a Timu haul. They definitely disappointed me this time. They definitely sent me some trash, and I'll be showing you guys the trash they sent me at the end. But we'll start off with the stuff that I did enjoy. The first video I did, I'll have linked down below. I can attest to their clothes being really nice, fitting perfectly. I absolutely love the way their, their clothes fit my body. The quality was great for the price. Even if they were more expensive, the quality was still there. So... Yeah, I can attest to their clothes. As far as beauty, we'll get to that. This time, I had things that I ordered myself as well. So I had things that were sent to me, and I also had things that I ordered. Because Timo is one of those sites, once you get the app on your phone, you're going to want to keep buying. Everything's literally so cheap. You just stay on there, and, and you just click add more add more add more and it's just it happens so fast click the link down below if you want to add timu app to your phone and start shopping with them because not everything's bad but just some of the stuff i got this time is trash so these lashes right here were one of the first beauty items i went with i'm wearing them today they're super dramatic i personally think i don't usually wear lashes this curled up and fluffy that's what i'm wearing today so if you like them definitely recommend them these are the second pair that i got they're also super fluffy and long but they're still very different than the first pair so this is the comparison of the two pairs you cannot beat the price for lashes you won't find lashes this price anywhere not on amazon not at the beauty store nowhere you have to go to timu if you want these lashes because the price beats beats any price anywhere and i think that they're worth it this is something that i would definitely go to timu for so the second beauty item i got came in this bag and it's basically this little beauty item what you can do is you peel off the back so it's sticky. It's really soft stickiness. You can wear this underneath your eye when you're putting on your eye makeup to ensure that there's no fallout on your cheek. That's not how I use it though. I prefer to use it on the side when I'm doing my eye makeup so that I can have that perfect shading on the side and it doesn't kind of go past my eye area so they sell a lot of personality glasses as well as sunglasses on their site. I think that these glasses are worth it. I think that probably any other glasses and sunglasses are worth it. The prices seem really low and the quality I can say is, is there. So these are the glasses. I do like wearing me some glasses when I go out. I either like wearing personality glasses, my real glasses, or like sunglasses. I don't know why. And I think they're a little dirty so don't mind that. But I think they look good. I hate the ring light. It might kind of distort things, but I think they look good. You can tell me what you think down below. I would recommend these and just checking out all the other glasses and sunglasses that they have. This is one thing that's not beauty and I bought on my own and out of everything I got, I think this was, this was the best item that I got. It's sight word for my kids. So it starts with pre-primer words and then it goes to primer words. And then it goes to sight words. And then it goes to like first grade, second grade, and third grade. And the reason why I like this is because middle son, he does not like doing flashcards. So I know he'll enjoy this because we've already tried it. Because flashcards are usually just a word. And the ones that have a picture have the picture of the actual item. So you don't have to read it. You just have to look at the, the apple and say apple. That is way too easy. And then the ones that don't have a picture are just not exciting enough. This one, it'll have a picture for apple, but the word is not apple. The word is I. So it'll have the word, which is I. Then I'll have a picture of the apple, and then I'll have a sentence. And the sentence will be, I have an apple. To be able to have the word and then a sentence to use the word in. And I love that. So it's the perfect way, I think, to teach words to your kids. And the fact that the word isn't the actual picture, because that's way too easy. Like, I don't even know why they sell flashcards that are the same picture as the word. I mean, maybe you can use that for babies, but once you get to, like, kindergarten, first grade, like, that's too easy. So, yeah. It has a apple, but the word is I. It has a pear, but the word is A. It has a bird, but the word is C. It has a book, but the word is find. And then it has a sentence underneath for each one. I highly recommend this if you have kids from kindergarten age to third grade. Favorite purchase and I definitely want to look more into the kids item. So this item right here is a disappointment. Huge, huge disappointment. It has the concealer shades and then it has the blushes on the other side i would absolutely not buy this unless you're a little kid and you don't know how to do makeup the problem with this is 
a lot of things so it's really waxy it's not pigmented and the shade range does not work for brown skin girls so if you look at the shades down here the top rows way too light that you can't use any of these colors up here if you're a brown skin girl and then down here the shades don't work either because it has like super dark color over here and then like these two colors about the same there's just no in-between color that I feel like I can use blushes the colors look a little better maybe stuff that I could use since I noticed they were waxy on the top I didn't even try the bottom you can see I stuck my finger in it to swatch it but that's about it so now we're gonna get into the trash okay and one of the items I realized might not be trash that I thought was trash I mean it kind of is but kind of not it looks good on me I think but it still doesn't feel good it still is not i don't think wearable it's something you would wear for maybe a video or a picture but you wouldn't wear out so we're gonna start with the trash what's this what is this do not buy synthetic wigs from timu save your money don't do it and i actually paid for one of my wigs i got two sponsored wigs and then one that i bought because i was like, I was like these wigs look so good on these models. They're so cheap. I want it so bad. But they sent this this is what they sent you. What what is this supposed to be? And I'll have a picture of what this is supposed to be. And it it ain't it, okay? It ain't it. Well, I'll try it on for you. One of the wigs I already threw away because I made this video already, but it was a corrupt file. But I was able to save that one part to put in this video. So one of the wigs, yeah, I threw it away immediately. I should have thrown this away immediately too, but I didn't. This one actually looks kind of good on me so i might not throw it away but it's just we'll get into it when, when we get to it this is the first wig that i absolutely can't make work at all i mean this hair is literally i don't know it's wool it's it's knotted up it's tangled and that's how it came to me it came to me like this you can't you can't get through this hair it's just poofy and there's some wigs like you can put on I know you have some makeup on and like make it look good you can't even make this look good and I can't even get it out my mouth and not my face and don't be fooled if you think this looks good it don't okay it, it it don't look good and it's going straight in the trash okay but but this this is it the only place I would possibly possibly wear this unit is to the giant is to the grocery store Walmart that's the only place there's little tiny broken hairs up here but no part at all so this is the part that I don't understand this is a sponsored unit that they sent me okay after replacing the order for it I then went back and looked at the reviews and I saw like an old lady wearing this wig and it looked a hot mess so I was like oh shit I don't want that wig so I contacted Timu immediately and I let them know I was like can you please cancel this wig and let me get a different one um she said no we can't do that so imagine sending someone something that you already know they don't like and telling them to review it. Like, do you think I'm going to give it a good review when I know I don't like it? You know what I mean? I saw it on the old lady. I was like, no, that does not look good. And I decided I didn't want it. But you're still going to send it to me? Like, to me, that didn't, that didn't make no sense. The problem with this unit is, I mean, it's too shiny, number one. But number two, this is baby doll hair. I don't know if you can see. It's literally baby doll hair. Just imagine being out and about this stuff would be flying all over the place up in your face up in your eyes up in your lipstick it would be all over the place I mean it's like one of those wigs that you can only wear indoors if you wanted to wear this wig it would have to be indoors there'd have to be no wind there'd have to be no movement you you got to be completely still with this wig if you do like it so yeah if you like it I mean you can get it but just know what you're getting you're getting some baby doll hair so this is what it looks like from the side it's like a long bob i think it's kind of tapered like kind of shorter in the back and a little longer in the front so this is the one that i paid money for and it's one of the worst maybe is the worst okay you can see the shine on this one right but it still don't look that bad this the shine on this look at this this shine how plastic can you get it literally doesn't get any more plastic than that so let me go and try this on also already tangled you know look at it uh, uh, can't get through it now it might not look as bad either but like I said it's plastic the hair is plastic it is tangled and in the picture which really makes me mad is in the picture it looked like it was a lace front wig this is not a lace front wig can you see that it ain't 
no lace here okay to me this is not a wig you can wear like how am i gonna wear this there's no lace like what's this this is going in the trash and the first one's going in the trash the second one i might keep Hey loves, so this is a quick update in the future. I did end up returning this wig that I purchased and they gave me a full refund, no questions asked, and I didn't even have to return the wig. So they did redeem themselves and I'm very thankful for that and I'm very thankful for their customer service. Also know that I did this transaction under a completely different account. It wasn't my influencer account, so they did not know it was me. They did this knowing that this was just a random customer. So all the wigs I showed you guys are synthetic wigs, but I wouldn't even buy human hair wig. I Hopefully I get to try a human hair wig that I don't have to spend money on and be able to review for you guys. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend my hard-earned money on a synthetic wig or a human hair wig from Timu because I don't feel like they know what they're doing when it comes to wigs. Clothes, you're good. I think shoes, I haven't tried, but I think you're good. A lot of their gadgets, I think you're good. So if you're interested in Timu and some of the items I showed you guys today, my link is down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, love.